Good afternoon, my name is Don Sigali, and I'm the owner of Sigali Brothers Wood Products. Today we're going to show how to put drywall anchors in. And we use drywall anchors when we don't have studs. Um, here at Sigali Brothers we have three types of uh, uh, sheetrock anchors. We have ones that just screw, screw in, I'm going to demonstrate that. We have one that is a toggle bolt, which actually pushes into the drywall pushes in and then spreads out so we can get a good connection um, for fastening. And we have another type that also screws in, and I'll be demonstrating, that actually butterflies out like a toggle. And these are three uh, types of fastening we have in Sigali Brothers. So I'm gonna demonstrate the first one, which is the most easiest one. Um, this has 50 pounds load rating on them. So basically, all you do is screw it in until it seats, you stop the gun. Um, you may be screwing in um, either a three-quarter inch piece of wood or you may be anchoring it in with a bracket. Um, and it's very, very quite, uh, quite easy to do. And uh, basically all then you do is just put the screw, put the screw in. And, and screw it in. Very simple, very simple. The second anchor that we have is basically the same one, and uh, this requires a machine screw, which is this here. And this one also is going to get screwed in. You gotta be careful so it doesn't, uh, it's a little flimsy, but that in like that and uh, Stephen if you can look at the camera in the back you can watch see what it looks like you can see that it uh, it comes out and that thing is going to flip around it's going to clamp on it's going to clamp onto the um, onto the wood so I'll show you by putting the screw in come to the other side So if you look at the other side, you can see how it, it clamped on. This has a load rating of 85 pounds. Now the big one is this one here. This is very, very cool. This has the same principle, but this is going to require a spade bit and a half inch hole. So you're going you're to screw the hole, or drill the hole I should say, insert this into the hole and you're going to go ahead and you grab this and you pull it. And the trick on this is that you pull this really tight because you want that thing to seat. And if you look at the other side, you can see how it spreads out. If you don't do that, it's going to cause problems when you go uh, to put the screw in there. So what I've uh, discovered is you just take a pair of needle nose pliers and you give it a little tug. Make sure it's tight because this... This little bit here will help you tremendously because if it uh, starts to spin, it's going to cause you a lot of problems and you're going to have a difficult time. So basically, um, that is put in like that. Um, that also has a machine screw that gets put in there. And this has a, uh, a shear rating of, and that gets screwed in there like that and it tightens it up and it clamps that uh, fitting right to the wall. Uh, extremely strong. That's got a load rating of 225 pounds. The first one I did is 50 pounds, this one here. And then the, um, the third one is 85 pounds. So we carry these at Sigali Brothers. You should have these in your toolbox at all times. Uh, if you don't hit a stud, you need to put the anchor in, especially when you're doing closets and we're using hangrails. That very corner area needs to be supported and uh, you can put two or three of those in at once in a, each hole if you have to. So hopefully this is helpful and uh, good luck. Thank you so much.